good afternoon YouTube and I might say good afternoon Tesco's and Sainsbury's because I'm hoping that you may see this video in the end because I've just about had enough of it okay the reason why I'm saying about this we all know about the nice little drug or chemical aspartame and you've heard about the one that's sucralose um, I don't probably pronounce it right or sucralose or whatever um, that's supposed to be made from natural sugars, also the better ties, better sides, whatever they are. This is your perfect example of how supermarkets are lying to you and we've got to stop this. Let's take this, right? No added sugar, contains 100% fruit, contains naturally occurring sugars, sorry it's backwards. Yeah, that says contains naturally occurring sugars okay no added sugar um, what does that actually say only natural colours and flavours okay you can see it there even though it's background backwards I don't actually know why that's happening <laughs> um, yeah alright so then we turn to the back so should we turn to the side? So first of all, we've said no added sugar. Okay. Concentrated lemon squash with sweetener. Sorry, but sweetener's a sugar. But you say no added sugar. Then they have the audacity to write this on the back. As Sainsbury's, at Sainsbury's we care about quality and that's why we've improved our soft drinks. They now made using natural colours and flavours. We don't use better size, be better ties or whatever, preservatives or aspartame sweetener. This product is sweetened with sucralose, whatever it is, right? There it is, in English, right? So first of all, we have no added sugar and it's free from artificial preservatives and it's just lemon juice. Then we have... Oh, but we'll add some sweetener, even though we didn't add any sugar. And then, they have the audacity to say on the back about it, right? Right, now this sweetener is nowhere near as bad as aspartame, but it's not good, okay? I want to buy lemon squash, which, which is lemon squash, yeah? So this, I'm going to have to throw down the fucking toilet. This is going to be thrown away, because I can't drink this. I like my brain and I don't want lesions and I don't want any other genetically modified fucking disease you feel like making next time. Secondly, Ribena. As you can see, I've drunk most of that because it says here, no artificial colours, flavours or sweetness, contains real fruit juice. There it is, in fucking English, as plain as day. There, look, right? Mm-hmm. Then, if we actually look at its ingredients, which are here, right, the first thing that stands out is sodium bezide. There it is. See it? Refer back to Sainsbury's. The bezide preservative, which they don't use. Ribena don't use aspartame or sucralose. No, but they use the bezide preservative, which is probably the same as aspartame. Avoid this. Coca Cola is it. Okay, your safest bet with Coca Cola, if you're going to drink it, is full fat. This version. Okay? If we look at this, I am going to ask what Coca-Cola, what flavourings, including caffeine, okay? We've got an E15D in there, which probably isn't that good, but flavourings could mean anything. It's like dairy milk, chocolate, flavourings. Well, I want to know what fucking flavourings are, because... Phew. Now, the reason why stuff like this has been produced for us is because we're always on the run okay now mankind has to stop being so fucking lazy and buy the lemons and make your own lemon juice right it takes 30 seconds to make a fruit juice through water right it takes total tops five to ten minutes for a smoothie out of fruit right I use three ice cubes made from mineral water that doesn't contain fluoride okay I then put about that much water in the bottom of my blender you don't need a smoothie maker a blender would do 
I then used two big oranges, you know, normal organic oranges you buy from eight grow green grocers, like an Italian green grocers, which are proper oranges like they used to be with a big thick skin. Two of them, grapefruit, perfect fruit juice. Yeah, bypass the water sort of chain and bypass this chain, right? Supermarket laziness chain. As far as food's concerned and the crap preservatives and etc that they're putting in food, you're gonna have to start cooking properly like your mum and dad did when you were younger, making your own food. The problem is with this world and with the way that we've been pushed into the way we run our life is we're all so quick running around doing everything, right? There's a combination of, oh my God, I have not got to time. And the other combination is laziness, sheer fucking laziness. People can't be bothered to do it because they think that it should be sort of there on a package because it's not convenient. Well, that's the biggest problem with the world, right? Now, I've had enough of supermarkets telling me lies. Yeah, so I'm going to do something about this. I'm going to write to Sainsbury's and I'm going to write to Tesco's and ask him what the hell is going on because it's getting ridiculous now, people.